Ooh. Um, it's like super late at night. Well, I guess it's not really super late. It's 8.30. <laughs> so, it's super late for old people like me. But, um, I guess, like, I wanted to film this morning. But, like, after I got out of the gym. But I didn't finish at the gym because, um, apparently my body, like, just rejected the antibiotics that I was on. <laughs> And I ended up, like, puking it back up, and it was really disgusting. Um, but I got through most of the gym, and then I just, like, rushed home. Because I don't like puking in public, obviously. <laughs> um, and I'm looking kind of wrecked right now, but I really don't give a shit. And it's been, like, a crap day in general. Um, I'm probably going to cry a little bit. But <laughs> um... So I was sick at the gym, and then, um, the singer from one of my favorite bands, <laughs> uh, passed away, <laughs> to put it nicely, and that's, like, pretty rough, you know? Um, I don't usually, like, get upset about people dying that I don't know, like, um, like, I was always, like, talking to people that I know that are like, oh, like, Tom Petty died, like, wh whoever else died, and I'm like, you don't know them, they could have been a total scumbag, you know, <laughs> um, and, like, they're really old, you know, like, who cares, but, like, this dude and, um, Robin Williams are, like, the only two people that, like, I don't know that I, like, upset over their passing, and I don't know. Music is just, like, so big. And when you, like, like the music so much. And, like, you know. Like, you can feel. Like, what they were feeling. And, like, I get it. And, like. It's crazy. It's, it's insane, like, how alone. And, like. I mean, I don't know what he was feeling, but. Just how, like, off you can feel. Even with, like, so many people that, like, appreciate your existence. <laughs> you know? Because, like, Friend Rabbit has, like, a lot of fans. And, and like, their music means stuff to people. You know? Like, it means something to me. And, like, <laughs> they're gone now, basically. <laughs> And, like, the singer, and, like, it was, like, his lyrics, and, like, oh, no. And, like, I I heard the news this morning, and then I had to go to work and, like, push all of this, like, feelings just down, like, out of, like, my, you know, the front of my thoughts. So I could just, like, get through the day. And, like... I don't know. It's just so sad. And I, I don't know. The more I think about it, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not awesome. <laughs> and, um, so like I plan on eating like a bunch of bad food, right? Because that's what you do when you feel sad. And, um, like, I basically have trained my body to not be able to binge eat anymore or overeat. <laughs> so where, like, I just can't anymore. And so, like, I got all this food from, um, Whole Foods. Like, I went there on purpose, like, to get, like, good stuff, like some, like, no oil marinara sauce and, like, some engine two burgers and stuff and, like... It's like, well, I'm gonna get some junk food, too, because, like, I feel like crap mentally, so I'm gonna make myself feel like crap physically, because that's what I do, and, like, I mean, I still kind of feel like crap, but I only got through, like, three quarters of my Chipotle burrito, <laughs> and I had, like, all this other food to eat, and, like, I can't, which is good, but also bad, because I spent money on it. I mean, it's all, like non-perishable so it's not like a big deal but yeah 
Um, and there was something else too, but I can't remember what it is. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to say about it without, like, saying too much. But, uh, let's just say that, like, <laughs> that dude's death, like, really hits home. <laughs> yeah. Bad day. And apparently he went missing, like, um, quite a few days ago. Like, three days ago. And then they found him. So, yep. And we're all black today, except for my, um, seafoam green frightened rabbit shirt. Good morning. It's hard, man. I mean, I don't, I can't even, like, imagine what it's like for someone that, like, has it in their life, you know? It's like, this is what I feel like for somebody that I didn't even know. And, like, it makes me think a little bit, but, like, I was, I was thinking about earlier is that, like, I can see both sides, because I do have, like, a history with, um major depressive disorder and like sometimes like if you get too close to that line or if you get over the line there's like it's like you could just can't see your way out of it like it's never gonna get better and it feels like what why the fuck am I still bothering with this shit and then I mean, I can understand where the outside world comes in, and they have feelings too, you know. But me and my um, friend Justina both have kind of like unconventional, unpopular thoughts about this kind of stuff. But I mean, yeah, when things happen, it does make you like think about it a little bit harder about like the ripple effect. But. I mean, the effect is, like, like, there's an end point to it. There was a word I was going to use, but I can't remember what it was. Um, like, I'll remember this, but I'm still, like, it's not going to affect me so much that, like, the course of my life is altered or anything. You know what I mean? Just like, I remember the, you know, the day that Tony Sly died. And it just, it just sits with you because you're never going to, like, feel those things again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, it's a, it's one person and they're writing those songs. And, like, yeah, they're in a band, but, like, you're putting the lyrics together off of, like, your own feelings and, like, things that you've been through. And then, like... You put it out in the world and people will connect with it from whatever avenue that they that they do. And it's fucking special, man. That's why like I don't understand these fucking kids today. I just like the beat. I have no idea what they're saying. It's like it suck. You you don't read books? You don't listen to music. All you do is get on social media. So stupid. As I'm like getting ready to put this on social media. I guess YouTube counts, right? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. I just think it's so odd that I can't binge eat anymore. Maybe I'm just like past it mentally, you know? Because I know that in the past, like, I've gotten to this, like, fullness point, and I've still, like, crammed in more food, or, like, waited an hour and crammed in more food, or whatever, um, but, like, now I'm, like, looking at this burrito, and I'm, like, uh, don't do it, uh, 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 uh. it's not gonna happen, <laughs> there's no more room, 
So, I don't know. I have to eat a piece of fruit, though, and all my starch targets are hit. So that's great. And, um, yeah. So, I decided I'm gonna get another tattoo here soon. Due to this incident. And uh, hopefully I can get my friend Jimmy to do it, because, like, he's dope. Like, I've known him since, like, seventh grade. And, um... He's, like, coming around in his, uh, tattooing and his, like, art and all that. Like, I have one from him already, but it was when he, like, first started. And so now it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really cool. I have, like, a lot of plans for tattoos. Like, my, I have to finish this sleeve on my right arm. And then some shit's gonna end up on my left arm, too, even though I didn't want to, well, what am I saying? I still, I have some on my left arm already. But I didn't plan on having a full sleeve on both arms. So I might just have like a half sleeve on my left arm. And a full sleeve on my right. But that would look weird, huh? And then like I have two on my legs. But... I'm always wearing pants, who cares? So, yeah. So I just wanted to come on and say what's up. I know I'm not technically vlogging every day. Unless I have something to say, and I guess, like, I have something to say about today being not a great day. Um, yeah, and I guess, like, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna do a little PSA about, um, like, seeking help. Um, but sometimes you get past that point. And I can understand that too. <laughs> so, like, if you can, I would say seek help. And, like, let people help you as much as you can. Yeah. Find someone to talk to, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to do, honestly. <laughs> so. That's it. Sorry for crying. Ah! Okay, bye.